I come here to this conference is uh, the issue, uh, what we're, we'll try and do, depending on time, is make a, a quick stop at the Brazilian Consulate, which is only five miles from UCLA. Uh, the issue is the Brazilian government has just approved the, the construction of a dam, which is it's a hydroelectric, hydroelectric power plant, uh, that is going to flood an area which is larger than the state of California. Oh my God. Yeah. It's, it's almost 400 square miles. Where? in Brazil, right in the heart of the Amazon. Oh my so, if you, when you consider that 50% of plants and animal species are in that area, you could well expand that to half the United States if you consider the, the number of individuals that inhabit that area. Um, we have been organizing demos there in different cities. Uh, we, we've done demos with more than 2,000 people. The media reports that 150 or 200 oh. people were present oh. so far. Hello. I can't scream. Uh, so far, can you hear me in the back? Okay. So far, uh, 350 activists have been assassinated. Oh my God. Yeah. 70 of them were tortured before. So just one month ago, there was a couple that was killed. They had their hands cut out, their ears cut out. So trying to make an example out of it. That's the people that are acting there locally in the Amazon. Oh uh, what else? Uh, not only is that large one area going to be flooded, but everything downstream is going to be dry, right? Because the river doesn't flow anymore. It only produces 2% of the country's energy. So with 19 billion US dollars, you could well reduce the consumption of energy with by 2%. So it's just about paying back the election money to these construction companies that, that financed it. Uh, so what, what our next step now is try and build international pressure. So hopefully it will come to a point when the government will have to wait. But if the U.S. The, the, and Europe start doing boycotts, uh, uh, say we don't like what you're doing to the Amazon, and so we're not going to import this or that, they might have to wait, wait and come to the conclusion where it's not uh, good enough. So that there's actually two forest issues that we're protesting against. It's the, the Belo Monte Dam. Uh, did I mention there's 13,000 indigenous people also that live there and they're being expelled from, from their land? Uh, 100,000 100, species that are endemic to the area, that uh, animal species that only occur there, are going to be uh, extinct. So the, the other issue is the new forest code. That one has just been approved in Congress and now it's going to the Senate. We have time for this, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, the new forest code allows a much larger area of forest. It's a set of laws that we will allow a much larger area of forest to be cut down within properties, uh, be it in the Amazon or in, in, in any state. So that's going to be a disaster just as big as the Bella Monte Dam. Uh, so I, I brought signs. Uh, I brought some already. Others we try, uh, yeah, we try and make. So if we have time, uh, Michael will let us know, and we'll, we'll make a, a flash demo uh, at the consulate, which is not far from here. But also, I'd like you to communicate the email is on, on the leaflet, or it's just vedas at vedas, that's a double D, dot org, dot br. So if you can organize at your localities, it could be protests with three, four people at trade fairs or consulates, and then send it back pretty much like the check, check campaign does, and we report it back to the government and show them how ashamed they should be in the eyes of, of their work. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this will be entirely dependent on how we're doing time-wise. How many of you have airline reservations today? Raise your hand. Okay, what time? So that's when you need to be back to the hotel? 